Hi students, I am Pravin Sebastian Paul. In this lecture, we are discussing the prototyping in software development cycles. It is important to construct a prototype of some of the key system components shortly after the products are selected. A prototype is a version of a software product developed in the early stage of product's life cycle for specific experimental purposes. It enables to fully understood how easy or difficult it will be implement some of the features of the system. It gives user a chance to comment on the usability and usefulness of the user interface design. It can define use case and it makes use case modeling much easier. Prototyping was used as a quick and dirty way to test the design user interface and so forth something to be thrown away when the industrial strength version was developed the rapid application development rad refines the prototype into the final product prototypes have been categorized in various ways the following categorized are some of the commonly accepted prototypes they are horizontal prototype vertical prototype analysis prototype and domain prototype when it comes to the horizontal prototype it is a simulation of the interface but contains no functionality this has the advantage of being very quick to implement providing a good overall feel of the system and allowing the user to evaluate the interface on the basis of their normal expected perception of the system so this horizontal prototype is a model or a rough model of a system what we are expecting there is no detailed programming of each and every modules this horizontal prototypes just defines or describes the entire model of a system and we are not going into the detailed development of each and every modules of that particular system Secondly, we are dealing with the vertical prototype. It is a subset of the system feature with complete functionality. The advantage of this method is that the few implemented functions can be tested in great depth. The prototypes are hybrid between horizontal and vertical. The major portion of the interfaces are established so the user can get the feel of the system and features having a high degree of risk are prototyped with much more functionality so simply when we are considering a vertical prototype those vertical prototypes are design models of a single module that is we are designing a module in depth without considering other modules or other subsystems this vertical prototype focuses upon designing the major modules or major program concepts in that software environment so in real life we are dealing with the combination of both of these types of prototype that is horizontal as well as vertical prototype thirdly we are dealing with the analysis prototype it is an aid of exploring the problem domain this class of prototype is used to inform the user and demonstrate the proof of a concept. It is not used as the basis of development and is discarded when it has served its purpose. So this analysis prototype is just as a demonstrative type of prototype. Finally, the major prototype is domain prototype. This domain prototype is an aid for the incremental development of the ultimate software solution. It demonstrates the feasibility of the implementation and eventually will evolve into deliverable product. The typical time required to produce a prototype is anywhere from a few days to several weeks depending upon the type and function of the prototype. The prototype makes the end user and management members to ascertain that the general structure of the prototype meets the requirements established for the overall design. The purpose of this review is 
to demonstrate that the prototype have been developed according to the specification and that the final specification is appropriate. Secondly, to collect information about errors or other problems in the system such as user interface problem that need to be addressed in the intermediate prototype stage. And finally, to and finally, to give management and everyone connected with the project the first glimpse of what the technology can provide. So the prototyping is a useful exercise of almost any stage of development. Prototyping should be done in parallel with the preparation of the functional specification. It also results in modification of the specifications. So my dear students, in this lecture, we had discussed the term prototyping. So prototyping is a quick way to design and test the user requirement and show the customer an overall aspect of the required system what is expected from the customer. So my dear students, hope you had understood this topic. So dear students, kindly go through this assignment question. The assignment question is, write in detail about the following. First horizontal prototype, secondly vertical prototype, thirdly analysis prototype and finally domain prototype. So dear students, see you soon. Until then, goodbye. Thank you and all the best.